How's a guy supposed to pass out in peace with you yelling like that? Who's he holding up, Falcon? If he was a car, he'd be... A really cool sports car. <laughs> Running on fumes. He needs medical and tech now. I do will be smacking the red off the red skull. You mean we. I didn't say we. You lead. I'll follow. Manhattan goes world's biggest skate bowl and we have a serious PR problem. Really? Now? Joking in the face of certain death is part of our job. Say it. Say, Tony, I'm afraid of new tech. Admitting you have a problem is always the first step. Gosh, Mr. Big Brain, your modern tech is so gall darn confusing. How does this contraption turn water into coffee? Is it coal power or is it a miracle? Hmm. Sarcasm must be a modern invention because when you do it, it just sounds wrong. Say, if I hit this, will the whole building just launch into the sky? Uh, the Avenjet? Yes. I know. I read the manual. I don't have a problem with technology, but no machine can replace human intuition, or just plain guts. You're saying I don't have guts? Sir, there was a broadcast I suggest you watch. On your new fangled magic picture box? Enough. Data, please. Not my idea of a good time, but knock yourself out. If any of the math looks complicated, that's because it is. Huh? No one unibeams me. That's not gonna work. If you're still alive. Oh man, I hope you're still alive. Cap! Tony. So that was your plan? Trash the event jet and shoot it into space? Don't worry, Tony. I'll lend you a book on home repair. But wait, you do know what a book is, right? Yeah. There are a few old-fashioned things worth keeping around. You just wouldn't understand good old-fashioned human ingenuity. Maybe, maybe not, but I'd be willing to learn. In that case... Peace. Peace. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Humbled and impressed in one day. I think I hate today. Impressed by this? It's just a little something I whipped up on my handy dandy Stark pad. Now, let's go over the battle. Hold on. I want to take notes. Learning. All I can do is improvise. Steve, even without your shield, you're still Captain America. Without my armor, I'm just... Tony Stark. The Tony Stark. Billionaire. Genius. You're probably one of the three smartest men in the entire world. You're as tough as they come. You invented hardcore. The Avengers are lucky you're on our side. Really? You know two people smarter than me. Oh my god, why can't you just take the freaking compliment? Seriously, is there an off switch on that mouth? Skull just told you that he's going to hold the entire world hostage, and you're cracking joke. Two seconds later. recently learned it doesn't hurt to have a plan sometimes. Oh, now isn't that ironic, because I learned that sometimes you should just follow your gut. We are at our strongest. The Avengers Day has come. No. <laughs> no. No. Hello there. You mean another day the Avengers hand you your bony butt? Sure. Is the life of one worth the lives of so many? Sometimes I hate that. Hold on, Cap! It is a way to keep up with me in case there's not a sky cycle around. 
Hence, I took your boring old butt kickers and I teched them up a bit. More tech does not always equal more better. Yeah, and sometimes, it just kicks you in the butt. <laughs> Deal. You are gonna make an awesome crash test dummy. When do we start? Now. You took us camping in the Savage Land? You said we should get back to nature. There's nothing more natural than a hidden prehistoric enclave. Perfect. Jarvis is programmed to keep us out of our comfort zone for a whole day. Unless this is too intense for you guys. Too intense? This is fantastic! Let's head into the jungle to make camp. I'll lead. Whoa, what are you- You're our best chance of stopping Hammer and getting out of here. Go, do what you do. What does that mean? Why do I have a feeling you knew this was gonna happen? Because you know me, and I know Tony. He's a builder. He doesn't adapt to fit his situation. He adapts his situation to fit him. That, my friend, was Ow Natural, with the accent on the Ow. How do you do that without an iron glove? Come to training sometime without your armor, and we'll work on it. All right, look, when the Skull hijacked my armor and unlocked our playbook, he got our secrets. I put you all in danger. It was a mistake, Tony. I don't do mistakes. Even the best leaders make mistakes, Tony. You can't live in fear. Who said anything about fear? Fear comes with a job. It's how you deal with it that matters. <laughs> if I told you the odds that you were gonna say that, would you hit me? You know, that power cosmic is a heck of a thing. It allowed me to find an unstable planet that was on its way out anyway. Looking for a job? We got an open spot. I'll think about it. I hear you guys got potential. Uh, hey, sorry to break up this bro, man. <clears throat> Glad you rejoined the team, Tony. You got a game plan. Now's the time. We have to work with the Cabal, Cap. It's the only chance we have against the Skull. Now, I've tried teaming up with the enemy before. It's a surefire way to deep six you and your team. Yet, who beamed us out of there and saved our skin? Now, oh, ah, starting to feel the shrapnel. Jarvis, activate support system. Tony's chest unit is damaged. Replacement parts already prepped. Oh, man. That's better. Now, to get you into a spare suit. Sorry, Cap. I used every suit when we attacked Skull's base. Iron or no, you're still the man. Sure. I'll go all billionaire philanthropist on their butts. Billionaire genius philanthropist. You'll think of something. Look, I know I'll regret feeding the Tony Stark ego machine, but nicely done. You led the team from here without your armor. You finagled the Cabal to work with us. That's real leadership. Just between us, there's no better role model than Captain America. But all the leadership in the world means squat without a good team. And we have the best team in this dimension. When you're done with the pep talk, answer me one thing. If you weren't the one who convinced No Neck to break ranks, then what's Widow been up to? Where is she? Like she said, it's, it's classified. classified.